Hi, welcome back to Raspberry Pi. Today we're going to connect to a wireless network from the command line using our Debian Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and look at the Pi boot up and get started. Okay, we just uh, rebooted or plugged in our Raspberry Pi. It is coming online. And this is the Debian build that we did in the first video. So we are we're using the same build here. It, we, we sometimes lose HDMI there a couple of times as it flips back and forth on the screen, but everything's working just fine. Now I've noticed it takes about 45 seconds to a minute for this Pi to reboot. We are using the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, so, or just a 3B really, I think. I have to look at that. <laughs> but anyway, we're using the Raspberry Pi 3B, and uh, hopefully the thing is going to come online in just a moment, and we can uh, log in as root. If you remember, the default password for the Debian Pi image is blank. So we'll go root, enter, and sure enough, there we are. Now I've got a network set up over here called Cyber Security with a WPA2, I think it is, with a simple password. So I've set that up so I can connect to it. Let's go ahead and walk through the process to do that. So first thing we're gonna do, we'll do CD over to Etsy and we'll do WPA Supplicant. You can hit tab completion for that and pop into that directory. Now tab completion allows you to type part of a command file name or directory and then press the tab key and it will finish it for you now we're going to vi i wish we had vim let's see if we have vim in here nope don't have vim so we'll use vi um, and vi we're going to type vi wpa underscore supplicant dot conf so that's vi space WPA underscore supplicant dot com. So once we type that, we'll press enter and we're going to open this up with network equals. So we'll go ahead and press I for insert. Then we'll type network equals open curly braces. Then press enter on that. The SSID for our network, which equals, quote, for me, cyber security. And then the PSK, which is a pre-shared key or a password, we'll say PSK equals, and right there you'll enter your password, right, for your, your network. And then we'll close it with a closing curly braces, just like that. Now, if you have a different password right here, a uh, series of numbers or anything else, just type those uh, right there instead of passwords. So I'm going to press escape and I'll delete that. And I don't know if it's uh, 201031, something like that. Whatever, right? Just type your PSK. Um, if it's Halloween of the year 2020, then I, I would type 2020-1031, <laughs> so that's it. So let's go ahead and close that file. So we hit escape, colon, WQ. There are only three commands you need to know in VI. You need to know I equals insert, escape, colon, Q exclamation, which is uh, Q exclamation equals quit, no write and escape colon WQ equals save and quit. I'll just say save and quit. It's write and quit. So just remember that for your VI. If you're if you're using VI, uh, navigating in VI versus VI improved is a bit of annoyance. Um, you can't just use the up and down arrow keys. Uh, but that's fine. We'll have VI improved soon. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and switch over to Etsy network interfaces. Okay, we don't have to go over there. We just VI that file. VI Etsy network interfaces. And the way I got back to the beginning of the line, I just pressed the home key 
on my keyboard. So the home key will take you to the beginning, the end key will take you to the end. You do not have to be at the end of the line to press enter. You can be anywhere in this line and press enter and it looks at the entire line, so you'll be fine. Okay, let's move on down here. Well, we don't have a, a, a loopback set up here, which is kind of strange, but that's fine, we don't have to. So let's go ahead and do an auto uh, WLAN 1 on this system. So this is actually WLAN 1 with the wireless interface that I have plugged into this computer. It is WLAN 1. I'm going to type iFace, which is the you know interface setting, WLAN 1, INET, DHCP. And then the, the last line actually is W. PA dash oops dash conf and then we're going to tell it where the Etsy WPA supplicant was that's Etsy WPA underscore supplicant slash WPA underscore and hopefully I'll be able to get secure shelled into this soon so I won't have to go through the screen <laughs> but there you go uh, WPA underscore supplicant.com so we got that set now I'm gonna go ahead and save that and if you have any problems with networking check online go through the search engine see what it might be for your particular card be sure your card is supported with Raspberry Pi because this can be a little bit annoying. For me, uh, if I do an IWconfig on here, you can see I actually have um, nothing come up. And if I do an ifconfig, uh, nothing comes up as well. If I do an sbin, um, ifconfig here, even as root, nothing's gonna come up because it is IP adder, which is an alternative, not a replacement for ifconfig, it's just an alternative for it. Um, I, I don't like it, so I won't be using it, but you'll see here that we've got uh, the loopback interface, that low, we have ETH0, the WLAN0, which, hey, where does that come from, right? And then we get the WLAN1 right there. We just told WLAN1 to connect to cybersecurity. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do Etsy, just do a slash Etsy, init.d, and then networking restart and we'll give it just a few seconds and if all goes well we will come online if not we'll reboot and hopefully it'll come online <laughs> so Okay, it seems to be taking its sweet old time here. So it is making us wait. Okay, there we go. Now let's try IP space ADR. And, oh, we have an IP address. So we do have, it actually did connect. So 192.168.5.105 there. It says we are connected. Let's see if we can ping out. I'm just gonna go ping a popular DNS server. And I can, I can ping that. And we'll go ahead and try pinging some popular website. And DNS is working as well. Fantastic. Hopefully that video has helped you get networking up and running on a wireless interface on your Raspberry Pi. So the uh, I am using a TP-Link uh, USB wireless on this device. So if you are using a different card, it should everything should be the same as far as the WLAN 1 versus WLAN 0 because it seems to be detecting a WLAN 0 there for whatever reason that's not actually attached. So you have to pick the card that is attached uh, to the actual device. If we want to see what's attached, you can type LS USB. And it won't come up. LS PCI. We'll see if that's on there command not found we're missing a number of commands and we're gonna have to apt get those commands and that's one of the big reasons we really need to get these cards up and running as soon as possible 
I guess the last one we can try is we can try an LSHW and I'll put a, well, I'll just press enter. And that was not found as well. So there you go. We're going to app get install those. Uh, so app dash get, but we'll do that in a future video. Hope that this helped. And I look forward to talking to you next time.